love is to happen. Two people develop feelings for each other. It doesn't matter where they have met or where they saw each other, but the feelings develop. There's what we call love at first sight. There's what we call meeting. You've been friends, maybe from high school, maybe from primary, maybe from workplace. And you develop feelings for each other. And eventually you ask, would you be my wife? And the answer, most of them say, is yes. And you jubilate as a man and say, I have got a, a true life partner. But for a woman, what does this mean? Are there those things that a woman also desires to find in a man? Everyone has dreams. A woman can say, I want a rich man. I want somebody who can treat me like a queen. I want somebody to come shirtless on a white horse with six packs. All those are there. But these are physical things. What makes a good home? What makes marriage interesting? Because remember, these are two people who have lived differently but have met when they are old. Today, I want us to discuss and give you the top secrets that a woman before marrying or accepting to be married to someone must consider that that person to take him as her husband must have. Don't miss whether you're married, whether you're single, whether you're still searching, whether you're seeing someone. I hope this video helps you out to find the rightful partner who will guide you through your marriage and you enjoy your marriage to the fullest. I want to see you say, God blessed me with the partner who has blessed my life. So, as we are going to begin, remember, if you are new on this channel, subscribe, click on the notification bell, so that any time we upload a video, you are able to be notified and see the content. If you have friends that have not subscribed yet, share the video if you find it useful. Share the video and let us enjoy the journey of learning more about relationships, about life, and about everything in our society. So, number one, what are those secrets? What are those qualities that a woman must find in a man before marriage? Number one. Fear God. Any woman going to get married, you have no business whatsoever with a man who has no fear for God. I know most ladies say, I want a rich man, I want a handsome man, I want someone who can provide. But my sister, it will end in tears if this man does not have fear for God. And what do I mean by saying fear for God? It is not like if your husband or if your boyfriend, the person you're dating, or if your man and you're already married, who goes to church, that, that is fear for God. Being faithful and having fear for God are totally different things. You can be faithful to God and you don't fear God. Fearing God means you must have respect 
for God's word and be able to submit to the will of God's word. Therefore, a man who fears God, when he finds a woman, they say he finds a good thing. And a woman is someone who blesses the family. So, if a man really fears God, he will be able to obey God's word and his life, his marriage life, will always be led by the word of God. So, fear for God is most important in every aspect of marriage. A man who fears God will not push his wife like you're not attractive anymore. You have to dress this kind of hair. You have to plait this kind of wig. You have to put on such kind of dressing. A man who fears God has no nonsense for that kind of thing. Because at any time, once a woman knows that you are trying to push her to the dirty wall, to do the things that she cannot do, the next time she's with you on a road, maybe you're having a trip, and you see a lady who has what you've been telling her to do, she will be insecure, knowing that your eyes are on her. And a man who truly fears God will never raise a hand on the wife. So, my sister, if you've not yet chosen a man, consider that to be number one. Number two, being submissive. To God. What do I mean? A man who is submissive to God is good. How will this happen? He will accept to be submissive or submissive to earthly authority. If you get married, Oftentimes, it is good for you to have elders who have spent time in marriage to be your counselors, or you can get a marriage can a, a marriage counselor, or you can get a spiritual father. I'm assuring you, if you have someone who can dominate the man. Oh, a person who can talk to the man and the man listens, you are on the safer side. Because most of the times, men, we try to be held on earth. Because we want you to do our will. We don't want anyone to come into our lives. We are the engine of the home and so nobody should come in us or in our families to tell us what to do but if you're lucky and you have someone who can tell your man hello brother you're doing this but this is wrong and he says oh i'm sorry i didn't know that this was wrong that one is a good husband and my sister there i give you a tick i say Continue. You have a very good man. Number three. Passion. Passion for you. When I say passion, I do not mean love. When somebody has passion for you, will never cheat on you. You know, 
in this generation of ours, in the 21st century, love has, the word love has lost meaning. Reason being, you can meet people just holding hands and someone standing on the corridor says, Hey sister, I love you. Because it has lost meaning. So, a man who is passionate about you will never cheat on you. That's why most times, even the couples, newly married couples, you will find before five years of marriage, they are having misunderstandings of cheating because they never married because of love. They married because of physical attraction, because of desire of being with someone, but it was not passion for that person. So, most times, we need to be careful on who to choose. A man who passionately loves you, because this man, if he passionately loves you even if he looks at a very beautiful lady who will say my wife that girl is beautiful but you are the only woman in my life that covers every part that i can't be able to exchange with anyone there are very few people who can say that to their wives. But that is the truth. A man who passionately loves you will not be jealous of you. Oftentimes we have men. You see a man holding his woman as they are moving and you think that's love. Sometimes men are just jealous of not letting their women go by themselves because they fear someone like them will take advantage of their women. So, they end up holding hands and when you see, you say, this is a happy couple. And ladies, I want to advise you, do not accept to be happy in public with a plastic smile yet deep inside your heart you're crying you deserve something better than that you deserve not to rush to make a decision to marry someone but rather consider him being god fearing being submissive to earthly authority and god and being passionate about you. Number four, responsible man. A man who is irresponsible is a disaster in the family. How does this come? In this generation of ours, the way we have grown up is totally different from the way our parents were brought up. But I thank God I'm not among them, those people who are irresponsible. So, a, an irresponsible man, if something has happened, these are the men who will not in any way make a decision in life. A man who is responsible will ask, have they done it? But a man who is responsible will say, can we do it? Anyway, putting that aside, we have seen scenarios of men who wake up in the morning, gather fellow men, and go to play chess, 
Rudo playing cards all over in the village. They are redundant, they have no jobs. The wife is the one providing for the family. Then you ask, man, every time, every morning you're here, how do you survive? And the man is, you know, my wife is a teacher somewhere, is a nurse, so he works. Early in the morning, the woman wakes up, goes, works, and in the evening, she comes back. She provides everything, and the woman comes back from work. There's no food. She has to provide food. She has to care for the children, school fees, and everything. And you find this man is a nonsense in the family. Where did this come from? This came from the parents bringing up the children. Because these men of the 21st century have been over pampered. It is not that only a person from a rich family will be over pampered. Even those from a poor family will be over pampered. Whereby a man when he's still at home, at the age of 18, maybe 20, cannot wash for himself. And you ask, he's washing and you say, ah, no, stop, there is a maid. She's going to work. Which is very bad. So in my own way, I say, please, ladies, do not have any business whatsoever do not rush your time. To get a man who is irresponsible because it will be hell for you for the rest of your life. You do not want to be in a marriage where you will cry from the first time until the day that you depart from this world. I thank you so much for watching. If you have liked the content, you can share the video. If you have friends, you can share with them and tell them about the Bariji farm. We are here for you. We are here to talk about relationship issues, marriage issues, financial. How can you as a family grow yourselves financially and be finance independent? Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you are informed of any kind of video that is uploaded. And tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. We love you so much and take care of yourself.